Hi, I'm Aaron, and I've got something really exciting and useful to share with you in today's video. So you know how you sometimes create a PDF but don't really know what size it is? Have you ever like tried to print out a PDF file only to see that the paper size was all wrong and your text looks compressed and nearly unreadable or all your images are kind of like out of the frame? Now, a lot of our users have faced the same issue. So today I'll tell you exactly why this happens and how to resize PDFs to A4 and other standard page size formats so you never have to deal with this problem ever again. So are you ready to get started? I certainly am. Hey again, our video today is about how to convert a PDF to A4 so you can print your document without worrying about whether it will fit on standard A4 printed paper. And I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows as well as Mac OS. So let's begin with a couple of professional tools for Windows. We have Adobe Acrobat and PDF Element. So if you're a loyal Adobe Acrobat user, you'll want to learn how to do a PDF resize to A4 quickly. And that's exactly what I'm about to show you right now. So step one, after you launch Acrobat, open the file that you want to resize. Step two, now call up the print dialog using control P or clicking on file and then print. Step three, under the printer, look for either Microsoft save to PDF or Adobe PDF printer. Either one of these will work. And step four, on the bottom left corner, click on page setup and select A4 from the drop-down list for the size parameter. Step five, click OK to return to the print dialog and then hit the print button. Choose your destination folder where you want to save the file. And for Adobe users, this is the simplest way to resize PDFs to A4 or any other standard or custom dimensions. But if you're looking for something more, well, keep watching. So one of the reasons why I work closely with the Wondershare PDF Element team is that their product not only makes PDF tasks really easy, but also offers multiple ways to perform them. The easy way to change PDF size to A4 is to do it through the printer dialog. So step one is to launch PDF Element and click open files to import the PDF document that you are working with. Open up the printer dialog by clicking on the printer icon. You can also go to file, and print or just press Control p step two under printer choose wondershare pdf element and step three finally change the page size drop down selection to a4 and hit print and you're done and as a bonus i have a pro tip for you if you only need to change the size of a particular PDF page to A4 rather than all of the pages in the document, then there's an easy way to do this in PDF Element for Windows. Essentially, this is what the output might look like when you only change the size of one page in a PDF file. The first page, as you can see, has been orientated to portrait and resize to A4, while the other pages remain the same. On the other hand, using the easier print method will do this to your file, but you may not want that that because it affects the content layout of all the other pages. So how do we resize just one PDF page to A4 and leave the others untouched? Well, let's take a look. Step one, first open your file in PDF element, click the page tab at the top, and then the page boxes options in the toolbar ribbon. Step two, this will open a new window where you'll see this icon. Click that to reveal the page range and change page size tabs. Step three, in the page range tab, select range and enter the page numbers of the pages you want to resize. Step four, now move to the change page size tab, select fixed size and choose A4 from the page sizes drop-down list. 
And step five, click apply at the bottom of that window and the page that you specified will be resized to A4. You can now hit save to modify the original or save as to make a new copy. So we've covered Windows, but what about resize PDF to A4 solutions for Mac OS users? Mac users can take advantage of the flexible and feature-rich PDF element version for Mac OS. So to resize PDF to A4 for printing and other purposes, follow these simple steps. Step one, open the file in PDF element for Mac using the open icon on the welcome page. Step two, click on file and then print to access the print dialog. Step three, choose A4 in the page size dropdown list and then click apply. And that's it. All right, so we've looked at various scenarios on both Mac and Windows, but what if you don't need to resize a PDF to A4, but need a completely different size for say posters printing? Instead of wasting time on a bunch of videos that don't show you the right way to resize PDFs, just watch this one. The steps are super simple and will be very useful for future use. Right, so step one is to open the PDF file in PDF element using the file and open option. Step two, trigger the print dialog using control P, the print icon, or from the file menu. Step three, choose Wondershare PDF element as your printer and click the gear icon to open the properties window. Step four, go to the paper quality tab and click on advanced. Step five, in the new dialog box, choose postscript custom page size in the paper size dropdown menu. Step six, you can now hit edit to modify the custom page size. Step seven, enter the desired dimensions in the corresponding fields. And step eight, click OK in each dialog to go back to the print dialog. And finally, step nine is to just click print and save the resized PDF with a new name. So in case you need to do this for just one page or a few pages of your PDF, you can use the page boxes method I explained earlier. Step one, first open your file in PDF element, click the page tab at the top, and then the page boxes options in the toolbar ribbon. And click on this icon here and go to the change page size tab. Step three, click the radio button next to the custom, then enter the dimensions below that. Step four, click apply to go back to the main print dialog where you'll see your changes. And step five, finally, you can now hit save to modify the original or save as to make a new copy. Okay, well, I get a lot of great questions from PDF Element users that you might have as well. So let's do a quick you ask, we answer session next. So the first question is, how do I set the size of a page to make it smaller than the original one? Well, that's a great question. You can use this using the crop function in the print dialog box. So you can do this just by going to the page tab on the top, select page boxes. You can choose between the fixed and custom sizes, or you can see the preview of the PDF with the crop box around it on the right side here, which you can move the edges or corners of the crop box to get the right size. Then simply click apply and save the file using one of the available print to PDF options. So next question, is there an option for various page sizes in PDF? And yes, there is. You can scale the pages to 100%. So once again, go over to the page tab and hit page boxes and click on this icon for the advanced settings. You can then select custom in the change page size tab and enter the required dimensions. Next, go to the page range tab and set that to all pages. Click on apply and you're done. 
Okay, and the next question is, is there a typical or standard size for a PDF page? And no, there is no typical size, but the most commonly used size, you know, globally in most countries is A4, which measures at 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters. In the United States, the most used size is the US letter format, measuring 8.5 inches by 11 inches. And the size of a PDF page actually depends on the output device. Since the PDF data is stored as vectors, it can and scale to any size, making it the perfect format for all screen and print sizes. Okay, well, that's pretty much all we have time for today, but let me just say it's been an absolute pleasure sharing this learning experience with you. Hopefully you've learned something today as well. I'll leave you with an intriguing question. Why is A4 called A4? If you know the answer, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like button if you found it useful and don't forget to hit subscribe and the notifications bell so you can enjoy much more videos on the PDF Element channel. See you soon and thanks again. Bye bye.